All right, just want to start this little unboxing off with a huge shout out to Javon for give for hosting and giving away a Best Tech Sledgehammer on the Nice Live 24 hour live stream. And to Max Level EDC for letting me know about this deal. Well, he posted a video about it, and I was very thankful. Because I have been looking to get an upgrade for one specific reason of this tool. So, on to the unboxing first. And apologies if it's a little weird. I've got a tripod for Christmas. And I'm just now trying it out. This is totally not like the seventh take or something. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's amazing. for now oh and thank you by the way Javon um dagnabbit <laughs> the shout out Javon underscore knife knife addict Instagram and YouTube I think I might have missed an underscore ah uh, okay whatever Javon's knife addict Instagram and YouTube, big shout out, big thank you. Okay, let's get into this knife. It is the Best Tech Sledgehammer. She does have a very nice deep pocket clip. Probably the most interesting thing, besides those, remind you of anything? <laughs> a very nice recurve shape. Am I saying that right? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then a very semi-recurve, but chisel ground, almost like a really steep tanto. Look at how thick it is. Let's see. Let's see. What can I compare it with? It is thicker than the pocket cleaver. Alright. It is a thick boy. And it does have a very nice crinu... Is it crinulated? Oh well. Seventh take. Not seventh take. I mean... <laughs> uh, okay. It has a very nice crowned bevel. That is very smooth. Thank you very much, Javon, by the way. It does drop shut, however, the uh, this thing is much too close to do that. But yes, this is real micarta. Really nice knife. And best techs. Um, pivot. That they use. Okay. Thank you, Javon. And let's get on to Max Level EDC. For making a video about this. The Bibbery Pliers Multi-Tool. If you want to pause it real quick and... Read all of that. Sorry for the no commentary. I'm just thinking. Um, first of all, much better pocket clip than 
this thing. See how much room is left on this one compared to this one. Yeah. This is the Ozark Trail one, by the way. Looks like a good belt clip. Don't know if that will stay on or not during use, but I guess we'll find out. Alright. That looks pretty cool. Heavy little thing. It's got a main blade. That feels like a diamond file. Looks like one. And a coarse file. On this side. Let's see. Wood saw and serrated blade should be on this side. Well, I've confused myself all up. Alright, so plain blade and saw blade on this side. And file and serrated blade on this side. does have what appears to be a ruler both sides a good pair of scissors it would look like they sound pretty good seems just a little tight in there though And here's the star of the show right here. The interchangeable bit system. With a lock. As you can see, if you press up on this, that goes up. It would fit into that notch right there. And yeah. It locks, and you can put belts, or, <laughs> belts, um, you can put bits in whatever you carry your bits in, because sadly this case does not come with a bit holder, although you could probably attach one to it somehow. Anyways... about the same size this one's definitely a bit wider just a bit longer but definitely a bit of an upgrade all right that's about all I wanted to talk about um, leave me some feedback in the comments below if this is an improvement or if you can still hear my breathing because I am trying to get better about that I am conscious about it but this dang phone picks up everything, so leave some comments down below, and let me know what you think. Alright, budget guy, signing off.